You've been in Punta Gorda or Port Charlotte for a while now, and you've hit all the waterfront restaurants. You want to know where the locals go. Today, I'm going to tell you. Yo, I'm Adrian, longtime Florida realtor, and I'm here to help you get your Florida life. Happy Wednesday, everyone. If you're new here, new videos come out every Wednesday. You can subscribe to follow along. If you'd like to talk real estate with me, I leave my contact information in the description below. You can also book a call with me with the link in the description. Today we are talking about local places. Every destination place out there has a place that the locals go to blow off steam. Maybe you think I'm gonna get in trouble for letting all our secrets out, but here's the rub. Punta Gorda and Port Charlotte are very friendly places. We love to see anyone and everyone out and about. If you're local, I'd love to hear your favorite local places. Put them in the description below. I will tell you, this is probably part one of this video because as I started making my list, it got very long. I tried to go for price-wise kind of middle of the road places. I can definitely do a more fine dining version of this. And I will tell you one thing you won't say on this list is pizza because although I love pizza, we have so many pizza places here who serve different kinds of pizza for different ways. That has to be a video all in itself. It's too much for me to do all at once. Here's my top 10 places you wanna go if you're around town. Number one, Nino's Bakery. Nino's is kinda off the beaten path, but if you love pastries, bagels, fresh made bread, you definitely want to check out Nino's Bakery. It is a local favorite. You can also sit and have a cup of coffee and eat there or take it home with you. Number two, Downtown Cava. Downtown Cava is located in probably the coolest building in all of Punta Gorda. It's the old train station. There's lots of history all around the building. They serve coffee and also kava drinks and kratom drinks. I will tell you my favorite is the orange dream with the white. I don't really understand kratom, but I've tried it. So don't ask questions about that because I don't, the bartenders there have explained it to me many times and I don't know what I'm ordering. Number three, curry and kebab. Curry and kebab is for anyone who likes Indian food. Now, this is the kind of place if you just drove by, you'd think, I don't know, it's just a little place with a sign out front. It is definitely worth trying. I tend to eat there for lunch. It is a great spot for lunch or dinner, though. Number four, Beef O'Brady's. Beef, Beef O'Brady's is a sort of small chain in, in Florida. I'm most familiar with the one in Punta Gorda, but there's one in Deep Creek across the bridge. If you're looking for a casual place to watch the game, the locals I know go to Beef O'Brady's. Number five, Shorty's. Shorty's is the local dive bar. The story I often tell about Shorty's is I once had a customer who claimed to be an expert on dive bars. He came to Shorty's once and ended up moving here. I'm probably not the biggest expert on dive bars, but I feel like everybody ends up having a beer at Shorty's at some point. It's very local. It's kind of centrally located too. You'll see locals and tourists and everybody in there. Like I said, everybody ends up in Shorty's at some point. Number six, Penny's Diner. Penny's is on the corner of Bell Harbor and Ikea Stye. This is right in the middle of Punta Gorda Isles. I often think of it a good, as a good place to get all the gossip if you want to know what's going on around town. You can go at seven or eight in the morning and chit chat with all the locals and find out all the rub at Penny's. Number seven, John Skis. John Skis is another great breakfast plate. It is the kind of place that on the menu, it has the fat boy and the fat girl breakfast, which are these gigantic plates. I love to eat, but I've never quite been that uh, ambitious. I have had a lot of breakfast there and it is very good, highly recommend. Number eight, Finn Sushi. Finn Sushi is over by Peachland in Port Charlotte. It is fantastic sushi. I like the sweet potato roll, which is not, I don't know if that's still considered sushi, but it is, I love sweet potatoes. 
It's just a great place to stop in, get some good food. Number nine, Tula's. Tula's is probably my favorite lunch place. It is on Marion, right in the middle of town. It's kind of unassuming. You could just walk by it, but don't. It's Greek food. I personally could live my whole life on olives and feta cheese. So if you like that kind of thing, Tula's is for you. Finally, number 10, Los Mariachis. Los Mariachis is in Burnt Store Isles. It's on the end of the street. It's in the public strip mall. You might think, mm, public strip mall, how good could it be? It's a great pl local place to get some Tex-Mex, a margarita. It opened about a year ago and I've been several times. It's just good local food. You can also meet people in, if you're thinking about moving to Burns Isles, it's a great place to sit at the bar and get everybody's opinion on the area. I hope that gives you some good ideas on getting some good food at some local places around town. If you have any questions, let me know and I will see you next week.